Yeah, it is his second major league start. Yuri Perez. The game's probably still a little sped up for him, but man, he is something special. Segura at third gets a good hop to retire Garcia, and there's one away. Thomas with a high pop back behind first base. Cooper's there and makes the catch in foul territory. Well, maybe Perez can figure out a way to, to get Candelario. It's six of seven with a walk. He's been on base seven times. But he gets him with the slider. And Yuri Perez has his first punch out of the afternoon. As Trevor Williams, he's been pitching pretty decent for the Nationals as well. You see there, two earned runs or fewer he's allowed in five of his eight starts this season. Gets a hopper over to Luis Garcia to start his afternoon, and there's out number one. Swung on and hit in the air, shallow right center, long run, Alex Call coming in. He makes the catch on the move, two men away. Here's Luis Arise, the four-year anniversary of his big league debut. Since coming up to the major league level, hit 321 in his career. Out to right center, Alex Call what ventures over there yet again. And makes the catch in right center for the out. And the Marlins go in order. Corey Dickerson's in the cleanup spot in his second game back from the injured list. And gets him with that breaking ball. Second strikeout. Kbert Ruiz takes a one out walk. That's a slow bouncer. Arise with the back flip to Wendell, and they get the one. Jake Alou getting his first action of the series. It was recalled yesterday. Joey Manessis was placed on the paternity list. They did, and Jake's going to line one out to shallow left. Two out single. One, two, three, first inning, but the Nationals have made him break a sweat here in the second. And swing and a miss, strike three. He got him with a slider. The inning is over. That'll bring up Brian De La Cruz, who's sitting on a career-high 11-game hitting streak. Williams with the wind and the deal. This is a fly ball, deep center field. Way back at the wall, and it's a home run. Brian De La Cruz, straight away center. Marlins won nothing. But De La Cruz got one that he could handle. There we go. Put on the, the shades, the hat. Well, the hit streak now up to 12. And here is Xavier Edwards making his second Big league start. First major league start in center field, and that is a fair ball. Should be extra bases. Takes the turn and cruises into second with a double. Just poked it down that third base line right over the bag and into scoring position here in the third. And Segura the other way. That's down for a base hit. Edwards is coming in to score. Segura does it again. An RBI, and now a five-game hit streak for Gene Segura. 2-0 Marlins. 3-1 is low. Cooper draws the walk, and the Marlins have had some traffic this inning. This is an opportunity early in this ball game with Luis Arise at the plate to really open the door a little bit on the Nationals. The pitch. Swing, and it's popped in the air down the left field line. Long chase for Alou. The ball slicing into foul ground. Alou is there, and he makes the catch. The runners go, the 3-2. Swing and a miss. He blew a fastball by him off the outside corner, so Laird chased one. So Williams does limit the damage. Candelario got a bit of a raw deal in his first at bat. Got called for a strike on a check swing that didn't appear to be. Drives this one out to right center. Moving back is Burdick. Looking up. This ball is gone. Jamer Candelario. Home run number five. And the Nats are on the board here in the fourth. Jamer Candelario put on the wig. Let's go. Yeah, it fits. Yeah, take the flag. Dom Smith going to serve one out to left center. That'll get into the gap. Dom's going to take a wide turnaround first. And now, after hesitating, he's going for second. Hey and he's in there. Dominic Smith with two outs, a heads up base running play. Gets an extra 90 feet. And now he's in scoring position. Broken back ground ball hit out to second base. Arises on it. He throws it to first. The inning is over. Bottom of the fourth, 2 1 Miami. The pitch to Brian De La Cruz. Breaking ball down. CJ Abrams elevates and snags the line drive. Some hops from the national shortstop. It's the ground ball up the middle off the glove of Garcia. And Wendell is aboard. Oh, where it got hit by the pitch. Figuring what he might get, like a fastball in this spot. Fortes sends it out to center field. Alex Call makes the catch. Wendell tags. Burdick tried as well, but he'll head back to first base. Marlins have him on first and third with two win. Xavier Edwards, base hit right field. That'll drive home Wendell. Burdick's on his way to third base, and he'll get there. Two hits today. 
for Xavier Edwards. Marlins have a 3 1 lead. One ball and two strikes here. And Perez with a quick fifth inning. I think it looks like that's going to do it for Iori Perez in his second major league outing. Five innings, one run, just the solo home run. We'll come in with the Nationals down 3 to 1 to face the bottom of the order. Nick Fortes, the number eight hitter. And right back up the middle for Fortes. He's one for three. Leadoff man is aboard. Xavier Edwards has had a good day. There goes the runner. This one tapped back to the mound. And they'll get the out at first. That kind of works as a, a sacrifice, perhaps, but either way. Cooper today lined out in the first. He walked in the third, and he popped out in the fifth. Batting him in the seventh. Could use a big out, uh, big two out base knock. Garrett Cooper flips it into center field. It gets down with two outs. Fortes is coming home. RBI for Cooper. 4 1 Marlins. Garcia going to try and get a rally started with a single to center. Thomas to center. That'll get down in front of Garrett Hampson. We got action. Lane Thomas extends his on base streak to a career high 15 games. So the Nats not going quietly here in the eighth inning. They've got the tying run coming to the plate. And the most dangerous hitter in this series, Jammer Candelario. And Candelario right field. That'll get deep down into the corner. Burdick gets to it before it gets to the wall, but not before Candelario reaches second. Luis Garcia comes in to score. And the Nats are making noise here in the eighth. Off the end of the bat, this is going to be a tough play for Segura. He has no play. Coming in to score is Lane Thomas. And an RBI infield single for Corey Dickerson has gotten the Nats back within a run. Is this going to get the job done? That's one, that's two. Double play for Brazoban. Nationals get two here in the eighth. But then Brazoban dials up the double play ball. Marlins out of it, still in front, albeit by a run. However, no team more comfortable in games like this than the Marlins. 14 and 1. 1 0 pitch to De La Cruz. Bounces to third. Backhanded by Candelario. Long throw. And Smith was up and off the back. And a base hit into right field. De La Cruz will move up to second. Marlins have two on. Fortes, who singled and scored in the seventh. Right now, that run scored is the difference in this game. He may have another run to work with. Base hit, Fortes, a run is home. Burdick goes to third, and Nick Fortes gives the Marlins a 5-3 lead. Dylan Floro, a two-run lead to work with right now. Back out there on the bump, looking for his fourth save of the season in his 20th game. And the leadoff man is aboard. That makes things uh, that much more interesting now. Leadoff man on, and the tying run coming to the plate. Bouncer to first. Cooper will get it, race to the bag, and just barely get there ahead of Alou. In on the hands. Tapper back to him. And they get the out. And the Marlins are an out away from wrapping up a three-game sweep against the Washington Nationals. The Marlins trying to lock down the first big league win for Iori Perez. Ground ball, second base, Arise has it over to first. It's a Marlins win, and the first one in the career of Iori Perez. Marlins finish off the sweep of the Washington Nationals. They've won four straight.